Next question is, are you single, currently dating, or are you in a situationship? All right, so we have Chick-fil-A. We're back. And I'm gonna hurry up and eat because I'm hungry. Well, we're gonna do a little girl talk. <laughs> so, the first question is Have I ever had a sneaky link? Mm. I haven't. I have, but I don't do them. Mm hmm. Because I catch feelings quickly. Like it's, I feel like it's hard to not catch feelings once you're actually intimate with someone. Plus, yeah, so I catch feelings easily and it's just, it's bad for business. Mm. So, alright. So, next question is, who's your two favorite rappers of all time? Rod Wave and No Cap. And I don't care if y'all say he's not a rapper. In my book, he a rapper and a singer, so Rod Wave and No Cat. Um, I'm gonna say one is Rod Wave. I would say No Cap too, but I don't really like. I listen to his, and I'm just like I'm vibing with his music, you know. Like I don't really know the lyric, like lyrical, so I'm not gonna be. I'm not gonna have that considered. So Rod Wave. Um, I think I guess I only have one. I don't really listen to like that type of. You know, like any rap, I don't really listen to that. Any, like, it's more so like R and B. I should not be eating these fries like that. I'm so sorry. I haven't taken one, but all right. Next question. How was your high school experience? I'm going first. You go first. Yo, I can go first because you went first last time. It was okay. I was in sports. I was like, I had like a little group of friends, but they was fake. So, I mean, it was, it was fine. Like I learned a lot of lessons and I ain't talking about the subjects. Okay. Mm -hmm. What I over, what I, what I redo high school. Nah. <laughs> but. Mm. I just feel like. At the time, nothing really went my way. Uh huh. Um, high school sucked for me. I didn't like it. The only thing that really was just. Sparked my interest was softball. Softball. And. What made it worse is they suck. Well, damn. The school is broke. We got fed um, raw chicken nuggets and chicken patties with rotten milk. Mm -hmm. so, let's talk about it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, everybody was weird. Don't get me wrong. I might have like two people or three that I talked to from high school. Everybody else just act weird did you um did you guys have like talking about the lunches did you guys have like a section where like you had to like pay for like i'm gonna say like a luxury lunch like you had that basic lunch that everyone gets or if you wanted like a special type of salad or a special type of mm -mm. we did oh so they was we did i went to like a rev i'm not gonna say it was like a like, like a luxurious luxurious type of high school but i mean it was a public school but it was a good public school yeah my public school terrible also prom i did not have a good prom experience in high school what let's talk about that too i had i had my senior prom I didn't have a date because I don't, Me neither. I don't really like, you know, socialize with these young men. 
never did but my friend at the time she had a date and it was basically like a wing woman wing man type situation and i went to prom with her prom date's friend i told this man these are my colors this is what i'm like this is this is what i expect this man seemed on the phone as if he was very like okay with it like he was understanding and stuff tell me why i go outside to take pictures he does not match me at all like it was just done up for me like at that point i was just like you look looking like you bitch because it's just the fact that like and then we're at prom he don't want to he don't want to like you know like you came with me so be with me i dance you dance match my energy none of that Mm -hmm. didn't want to take the prom photos like you know how they got the little photo booth they won't do that so he was just he was done up and he was botched mm -hmm. so would i redo prom i would and i was stunt on if it was just me oh hands down okay hands down for me hands down prom. you know so one boy he, I don't know. Like, we was talking, but we wasn't talking. And supposedly, he just thought in his head we was automatically going together. I'm not, I'm not gonna go if you didn't ask. So, I told him, like, a few months in, I'm like, well, I'm already getting my dress and stuff. He was like, why we was supposed to go together? I can't, like, you didn't even ask me. Like, what you mean, go together? Like, so... I start going to get my dress made or whatever. I already didn't like the material and I said that. But everybody was like, no, like it's gonna look good. Like it, it like, you know, wait, uh, trust the process. That you, um, you had, you, you. Being too nice and let everybody decide for me. So then. That's when you had the blue dress on? Yeah. You look real good though. I didn't like the material. No. Thank you, but I didn't like the material. <laughs> I wanted more stretchy kind because this is exactly what happened, right? Where did I stop at? Oh my goodness. Turn it on or whatever. She tells me to sit down so she could see how it is when I sit. I told her it was too tight. Mm -hmm. She said, I got you, da da da. I'm trusting you. You feel me? You're supposed to know what you're doing. Boom. The day of prom, mind you, I'm going with my cousin because her prom got canceled. So I'm like, all right, you know. Let me buy her boom. Yeah, I was told to get dressed early, right? Just try it on. Try on the dress, right? Boom, fine. Here, put on your shoes. Go to sit down. Rip. My dress rips. So my mom's like, no, 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 we're gonna go take it to Philly. My prom is in that like an hour. Yeah. They went to Philly, told the lady to fix it brought it back we had a hour left of prom an hour left i go with an hour left of prom just to take pictures and have a prom experience but i did not i was so irked like mm. like it's the lady fault that it even happened because you told me to sit down so you can loosen it if it's too tight and you didn't loosen it i was like yo no she didn't like mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah and then it was also bad because what'd you call it they had prom in april april prom season is may june we had prom in april if anybody who does a spring sport knows april is like the middle of the season of your, like whatever you're playing so i had the game like two days before prom and I had to go get my nails done because I wouldn't have time to go get my hair done, do all this makeup, and then go the same day to get my nails done. That's doing too much. So the day of the game, I'm trying to get out of there. Like, I'm sorry. I was making all kind of mistakes. Like, I was running home when I wasn't supposed to because I was trying to leave. So I went to leave and I told my coach, like, I got to go. She threw a fit. Was like, oh, my God. Like, that's exactly how she be. <laughs> yeah. 
my experience. So, have you been mentally and physically? They are very so fucking thoughtful. That's that's crazy. Um, I feel like I'm in a good space. I feel like I'm in a great space for real. Thank God. Started from the bottom, never am. No, I am too at the moment because I don't know. I feel like I get in my head about some things and then when I'm already in my head and then things are not looking right for myself, like I just feel like I just shut down completely. Mm -hmm. So I'm healed for, I'm healed from past situations. So, but at the moment, I'm good physically and mentally. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> Why are your head so fat? Willie! <laughs> he the only one who said that. I'm cracking the fuck up. Willie. I'm cracking. <laughs> I'm so sorry. What made you want to start doing YouTube? I feel like I always wanted to. But I was always so, like, worried about everybody else and what they think. I did it because I have a big personality. And sometimes it's, like, it's so big that it's hard to control it in a good, in a, like, in a good way. But I like to showcase it. I'm going to, I felt like I need to showcase it because it's just, like, some. I can vibe with people, you know? Not some, but others, yeah. Well, just like my family, it's always something unexpected that happens, but it'd be so funny. And it's like, sometimes you want to capture that moment. I mean, starting up a YouTube, like, you grow physically and mentally because, yeah. And I, it's all about consistency. So... What is something someone has done to you that you can never forgive them for? Mm. I'm not gonna say I can't forgive because you know you have to forgive to be forgiven, you know. But it's some things I won't forget. Well, I'm gonna start off with I have a good heart, and it's always the good hearted people that get hurt. So, mm -hmm. let's just start by there. Second is the... I'm going to say the the young adult trauma that I had no business being part of. That's what I cannot forgive. Well, I don't, I don't want to say I won't forgive because, like you said, you have to forgive to be forgiven. But I, that will always be in the, in the back of my head and... Certain people, I would just look at them and just not do what I've done in the past. Again, like um, I won't repeat the cycle. That's my answer. I'm not gonna say what happened, but certain family members, I just gotta love from a distance, regardless if we family or not. Like not letting y'all in no more. You took the word, like <laughs> I don't like that. Who was your favorite ex? Okay, I got this one favorite ex, and I hope he doesn't see this because it's going to boost his big ass head even more. And it shouldn't because he, I felt as though he cheated on me because he made something seem more than what it was. And I don't know. We got a name. We got to say the name. I won't. I'm not going to do that. Well, if you, I don't know. I if mean, you, if, if, if I, you was talking to me and you had to give him a nickname, what nickname would you give him? Because you know, like, when you be talking to somebody, you be like, remember this bull, but you don't say a name. You be like, like, blue shirt, big head. Well, <laughs> I don't really think, have I talked to you about him? I'm going to just say where he where he at right now. And we're going to leave it at that. And if you see it, he going to know. Atlanta. That's my favorite ex. That's one that. I played Top with him. Everybody. I played with him now, but that's because out of like revenge. 
I'm gonna stop that though because you know that's where that's my downfall. But okay, I'm trying to think who was my favorite ex, but like my man, my man, my man, my man, my man. But I was looking stupid, like I was regardless looking of too. what happened, like regardless of what happened, you was looking stupid. I'm stuck between two because I had one. Which one's the vase one? Like which one's the one that's like? I'll say Philly Bull. Philly Bull. I haven't heard. I'll tell you after this. Okay. You know? But the Philly Bull I'm talking about now, mm-hmm. well, before, he did some grimy stuff to me. Mm-hmm. But if I had to say, like, if we had fun, we had a good time. But, and I, and I ain't even gonna lie, like, I did learn stuff from him. So I'm not gonna sit here and downplay him. But yeah. <laughs> if there's one place that you will want to go like pack your bags up you're not hearing from me where would you go hmm? Nigga! if there's one place that you would like you like that just makes you feel like i'm about to just pack my bags up and just go don't let nobody know what place would that be Anywhere with clear water. I have not seen clear water yet. Have I took you to Clearwater Beach? In, in, in Florida. Was the water clear? That water is the only place in Florida that is like crystal clear. I don't think so. If I'm not, I don't know. I don't remember. I think we only like went to Orlando when you came. Like, mm-hmm. I don't. Okay, so I didn't take you. So anywhere with clear water, I want to go to. I always said that I always want to go to Australia. If I was to pack my bags and nobody heard from me, that's where I'm at. Taking a flight, where am I going? I feel like somewhere in the Caribbean. Like, Mm -hmm. I like the vibe. Like, that's my kind of vibe. Like, music-wise, food. I never went out out of the state. I don't think me either. I only been in the states. Like I never went to DR. Nothing. I mean, I went to Puerto Rico, but that's in the states. Yeah, mm-hmm. that's considered. I would want to go to like if I was out of the state, I want to go to Fiji. I want to go to Iceland, Australia. Um, Australia be having some, and that's the only iffy thing. Of, I know what you're gonna say, the animals mm-hmm. and stuff. That's the only iffy thing because I don't. I'm not. I'm not messing with any of that. I don't got time for. It. Any of that. Who's your ideal man? Who's my ideal man? Where are you coming up with My ideal man. Okay, so I'm really like cringed out on y'all men. It's not really hitting for y'all right now. But if I was to be like, that man is a panty dropper. This right here is a panty dropper. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> he would have to be taller than me. I am five, I think five two. Um, I have a type because they will have to be not like skinny, like just bones, but some type of meat on you, like some type of like something. I'm gonna say like brown, brown skin, not dark, dark, but brown skin. What I love dark, and you will have to have um nice style like you just can't be just i thought you were about to say nice style i was about to say you're mad freaky <laughs> no but a nice style very intelligent someone who i can't like don't take me serious because i don't know like my way of flirting is i'm getting on your ass like that's my way of flirting so don't know don't be going in the corner and crying my ideal girl i don't know i feel like i'm more like on an everyday i'm more like masculine like i wear like i don't wear i don't really like dressing like dress dressy like girly dressy i don't i don't do that so anything with like dressiness your hygiene has to be up there and that's basically like if you're 
I don't want to say pretty because I don't want to just go for looks, but you got to be intelligent too. You got to be like very attractive to me, like both ways. And you have to be some sort of feminine. Light skin, preferably. Um, my ideal man. Hmm. Spanish boys, it, it, it depends. Like, I'm iffy with y'all you know Be no i don't i don't i'm not with y'all spanish men y'all too conceited for me i'd rather date a woman I understand like you have to be up there with your like your whatever like i get that i understand that i'm so grateful for that but if you're if you're doing too much like too much is too much and y'all know what too much is but y'all just don't see it that's what that's why i can't do it and i don't know like they think they better than any everyone like, like actual you. spanish men and i don't want to like come off but like i'm gonna say I feel like it's dominican thank you i didn't want to say anything but um what's your your favorite fast food fast food restaurant mm -hmm. i would say chick-fil-a but like sandwich wise like like a hoagie wawa mm. Okay, if I'm talking about like something like crispy, like a chicken sandwich, it would be Popeyes. I love the crispy chicken sandwiches. It's too greasy for me. I don't like it. That's exactly what I like. Like, or the greasy, the nice, like the actual, like, sh like a good shake. Shake Shack. I gotta like, I gotta say that because it's just it's real. I never ice cream. Had shake Shack. I always wanted to. Here. We should have went there. But they make like smoothies. Like no. They like, have like the shroom burgers, like a big um, portobello mushroom, mm -hmm. a deep fried. They make like um, burgers, but it's like like over the the grill, or I don't know how to preferably say it. They got wa um, not waffle fries. They got um, crinkle cut. I love crinkle cut French fries. My ideal man. Um. I know a lot of girls be like, oh, like, I want, I want six five, I want six da da da. I can't do that. Like, I'm sorry, but that don't look right next to me. Like, we look like a circus. He's this big, and I'm like, you feel me? I'm like five one. But do you want them to be taller than you, or you want them to be like the same? Like, taller than me, yeah. But I'm not saying you got to be like, like so tall, because I'm only so tall myself. So I gave you like five, five and up. Mm. I feel like that also goes with being funny. Like I talked to this one boy, he was six five, no sense of humor at all. Um, and then people below his height, like even under six foot, be hilarious. That's why I say you can't take stuff serious because I'll just say something out of the blue. Like I could be sitting here, we could be quiet on our phone or whatever, and I'll be like, man, eh, and say some shit. Yeah. I don't got nothing my, off of my head, so I'm not going to say Somebody who know what they want, because a lot of y'all don't know what y'all want, and it gets me and my homegirls upset, because why don't you know what you want? If you're so-called a grown man, and you're always telling everybody you're a grown man, but don't do grown man things. What? <laughs> Bro, what are you talking about, man? <laughs> she did not fucking stutter. I'm not going to, yeah, I'm not saying, like, grown man ass type, like, have your own house, have your own car, whatever, because I used to live with my mom. Yeah, okay, let's, all right, now that, all right, boom, that's my idea, man. Next question, what's something somebody did that you was with that turned you off, like, instantly they did, and it was like, God, like, like, their mindset, how they act, like, anything? Not even, that whole situation turned me off, but him, like, per se, like, he was funny, like, like he was funny like he knew how to like he knew how to like have a conversation that you um you had you this one dude that i'm gonna say like this one of my, my one of my sneak things <laughs> he um it was just like all talk no play mm -hmm. and i'm not saying that's the only thing that i look into but it's just the fact that like you're out here big man mm -hmm. but you're not a big man i say my thing because this was, and he was childish i'm so sorry okay like it 
childish. Do, that was childish. Like he just like he just wanted people's like a, like attention. Like he was a people pleaser. Like, okay. but the wrong people, and it's like he, he does that. Like that's his type. Of, that's his way of flirting. Like I can get that girl. I can get that girl. Like um, I'm not tripping over you. And but still, like you know. That is for me. It's tiring. This happened in high school. This was the one I told you I couldn't decide between. Because this is the type of thing that turned me off. Like, the way he is is just like, ew. This is what turned me off. The brother name, his name going to be Dreads. The little brother name is going to be Little Bro or Little Brother, whatever. Mm -hmm. And then, mm. I'm going to say X. Everybody knows that's my X. Okay. okay. Dreads, so, Little Brother, X. X, okay. So, we all had the same lunch. That's crazy, though. Me, X little brother and dreads had the same lunch mm -hmm. so for that some people have like cooking class x had like some type of cookie or something he was selling or whatever and little brother was in you know the different type of class if you get what i'm saying mm. you know but he was like he was so nice he was really sweet little brother went up to him he's like here like i got money for you giving him money for it and i'm like don't do that like, and he gave it to him but he took his money and i'm like come on like i understand like it's your husband it's not that serious if anything you could have took his money from dreads like his brother like you didn't have to take the money from him like give it to him but tell the brother like you know i gave it to him but like can you give me them like you feel me yeah like that was a turn off because it's like you know like heart like i'm not saying like you feel me i understand the hustle but it's like it's out of respect out of yeah. respect like that's what i'm saying that turned me i was like ew like an instant turn off next question is are you single currently dating or are you in a situationship mm. 